How to get paid while you wait. How to get paid while you wait for your entry. How to get paid not to chase. That's what we're talking about right now. So uh, earlier I made a video about Palantir being a little bit on the high side based on cl uh, classic valuation methods. And buying now is not a great entry at least according to my valuation sheets. So what do you do? And this is a strategy that I use. I'm sure other people do it too, but it's a cash secured put or getting paid to wait at lower prices. So earlier this week, I, I put out a video saying that Palantir is probably a good deal below six or seven dollars and i'll show you my valuation sheet in a second but if it's a good deal at six it's probably like a wholesale it's at wholesale price is six retail price is where it is right now that's one other way to look at it but while you're waiting if you're not going to pay retail you're not going to jump in and buy you know with the highest price you can you know you might be waiting and getting money market money market is now respectable it's like four to five percent right for a year you park your money four to five percent warren buffett's always trying to beat treasuries and if he can't he'll just buy treasuries it's essentially a money market let me get the valuation sheet i keep a valuation sheet on a multitude of stocks and then i have some entry prices that would be sweet entry prices if I could get them. So if we look at Palantir, they're supposed to grow around 20%. They earn 21 cents, 26 the next year. You grow that out, you get a future price. My future price right now is saying $58 in a decade. And then you grow it back to get a good deal. If I could get it at 585, that's a 10 bagger price. Okay. I keep track of a bunch of them. So I know now we can use that data to trade options. So let me get my option chain out. I've got Palantir plugged in. I'm going to look for simplicity at the Jan 2024 strikes. And I'm going to look at that one six, the six option. Now, it doesn't pay a lot, but because I already determined from my worksheet that if I could get Palantir at six bucks and hold it for a decade, I already know that mathematically, if it grows as it's expected, I'm going to make between 22 and 26%. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to invest for the long run. And worst case, I know my growth at a lower price. I'm comfortable getting assigned at six. I want to get palantir at six so i if i look at this put i shop it right now it's the equivalent of earning 21.5 percent for 244 days uh, the capital required it's only about 100 bucks to collect 21 at six so they'll pay me 21 cents if i sell this put if i write this put at six for uh till jan 2024 i'm on the hook i have to buy it if it goes down there if i get assigned 21 cents and if it never goes down again i'll make 21 percent return on my capital okay so let's go back to palantir and i don't know we'll do we'll do that chart and let's do a decade if my math says, hey, one day it'll be 50 bucks in, in the next decade and I get to buy it at six, then I'll make 10 times my money. And that ends up being about 25% annualized over a decade. If I sell this put, I'll get 21% anyway on that money. It's a $100 margin. So you see what I'm trying to do? If I'm trying to get six, I don't want to pay 11, so I'm going to wait. But it doesn't mean I don't have to participate 
and the price action. So I can go sell a put. Uh, this is why I love valuation. If I didn't have valuation, it would be a lot harder to pick my strikes. It, it would be just, I mean, I guess technically I could just look at the, at the chart and say six. But I, if I just look at the chart, I don't really know the value of the business. And that's why I make my own valuation sheets. I study valuation, Peter Lynch, Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett. And I just update my prices and I update my numbers and I get different valuations. If a price comes down to a 20 bagger entry, 35% Kager over a decade. If it goes to a 30 bagger entry, 41% Kager entry. I'm looking for those deals. I don't have a lot of on my radar, but I do have some 10 baggers on my radar. But look, Palantir is not top of the list. Not at $11. At $11, I think the the best you can do is a 500% return in a decade. So that's what the math says. If you buy it now, you're basically hoping to get a 500% return over the next decade. If it gets cheaper, it just enhances the opportunity. That's why we always want stocks to get cheaper. We always want stocks to go on sale so we can buy them at a better deal. Do you agree? Let me know. Cheers.